The Amazon Aquarius going from strength to strength and in the last video we hacked it right back which really pained me to do because I absolutely love overgrown tanks, as many of you know. But it needed to be done because it needed to sort of reset that level and all the limb the feeder that we did hack back will grow back nice and bushy again. But now we've got a problem in the foreground in that the sag is just going nuts. It's spreading runners everywhere and I've got to do something about it before we get in another situation where you can't see anything in a tank. <laughs> So as you can see, I think it's looking fantastic, don't get me wrong, but it's gonna get crazy. If you could keep it and sort of just press pause like that, that would be absolutely brilliant, wouldn't it? But, you know, we can't do that. And this is what I'm talking about down in the foreground here with the Sagler. It's just, you can see there it goes like loop, loop, loop. And that's just like the runners being sent out. Actually, you can see it really well, if I can focus on it. There you go, it's running all the way along that glass, you see so so quick that's grown so fast i mean when you think this tank's only been set up for just over a month how good does it look though i absolutely love it and over here look the reds are really coming in oh you might as well also notice that it's a lot brighter everything's a lot brighter well i i wasn't paying attention to the top part of the tank and the piece lilies that you can see like this one and this one well i've trimmed them right back i don't know if you're going to be able to see but anyway there was loads of leaves coming out forward and they were covering up most of the light on both sides which meant that it was pretty gloomy and i think it looks really really good now and what is the benefit of that as well is more light is going to be causing the plants to grow even faster oh maybe that's not brilliant <laughs> well it will be brilliant for the reds so the reds love light the more light you can give them the better and this ludwigia you can see in the foreground here this ludwigia super red this one is that's just going to go even more red now you can already see the tops have gone proper red and then that one next to it that's the also ludwigia so the same plant family but that's the grandulose i think grandulosa or something like that and there's another one there you can see look, look at how red that's going now that it's got closer to the light source i mean i i absolutely love this tank it looks so cool and i think it looks so natural doesn't it i mean the colors really do mimic a natural environment and that big dark bogwood in the background as well oh, i love it There we go, look. So yeah, just that little, little bit there. Just, just opening it up a little. And it's nice to have that little clearing because when you look at like scenes of the Amazon, you see that there's lots of whitish, sort of yellowy white sand everywhere. I want to keep that. But you can see here, look, I've just got this nice little patch that we've got. I, I really like that little area. I think that looks really good. I mean, I'm really, really pleased with the tank now. I've got all these trimmings as well. I'm probably going to put those down in this. No, not that tank this tank that i've set up under here this is just like one of my plant grow out ones i'm going to get some amanos and also some uh auto sinklers to go in this one as well click subscribe so we're all set ready to go let's go get some fish We are back at Maidenhead Aquatics because Matt has told me there's some awesome rams that we can put in the Amazon Aquarium. Matt! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Have you got the rams? We've got a pair separated for you down there. Yes. And we have got a tank fish up there, but I've picked out the nicest two for you, of course. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and they're down in this one, yeah? No, they're already oh. out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready and waiting for you. Yes. Oh, look at that. Beauty. So how long have you had them here? Uh, probably now three, four weeks. Okay, so they're good, they're healthy. They're looking, yeah, they've been looking so nice. Look at that male. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Yeah, so do you reckon two is a good amount? Yeah, nice pair in there, you know, it gives them enough space to sort of gain territory. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it just gives them space around the tank. You don't want to put too many territorial fish in one tank. Okay, cool, perfect.
out. All the other fish have come up to have a look. <laughs> You'll see them soon enough, everyone. You'll see them soon enough. So the other week, I also picked up the gardener killifish. Where are you? Here he is. Uh, this is the male. Now, when I was at the shop, Matt told me that there was the female as well, which, to be honest, I didn't even realise uh, when I picked him up, and neither did the person working at the time. It's not their fault. Anyway, so there's a female. I'm going to put them in together. I think that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Hopefully get some breeding going on. Oh, look at it. It's so cool. Okay, she's in, she's in. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> this is brilliant. They seem to be okay. Um, I didn't put her straight in. This room's heated, remember, so I let the water get the same temperature as the room, and now I've just put her straight in. They should be okay together, because they were together previously, but, you know, you never know. He's like, this is my home. You are welcome, but uh, you will be mine. Oh, this is cool. I'm guessing this is some sort of mating thing if any of you guys know then you can tell me in the comments is what they're doing normal it's really interesting isn't it so he's like kind of like is he flashing his colors is he showing off to her sort of thing she's like nope it's gonna take a little bit more than that she's fancy that's what it is she's very fancy she wants expensive things <laughs> anyway let's get the rest of the fish up. Guess what guys, we've got new merch. So, so many of you like the black version of this with the white discus. I've done the white one with the black discus because some of you might not like black. I really like it, it's quite a nice, fresh design. It feels weird wearing white for sure, but yeah, if you're interested in getting one, click the link above or in the description or pin first comments. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> So you may have noticed there that I put the water straight into the tank. It's okay, the whole system is UV sterilized and chemically treated. If you're gonna catch anything, then it will be on the fish, not in the water, so we're all good. So now it's time to get the rams in. They're ready, let's do this. Okay, they are in. I didn't see where they went. Did anyone see where they went? Some fighting going on at the back there. So, oh, there we go. That is the, is that the female? Yeah, that's definitely the female. So I can tell that because look at the back, the top fin, the dorsal fin, the way it all, all the way go, goes all the way, but oh, oh. <laughs> There'll be some jostling to start with, but it'll all be okay. Come on, you're all right. Look at that pink belly, it's looking awesome. So yeah, as I was saying, one of the ways in which to tell if the, if the rams are male or female is that the males tend to have an elongated dorsal fin. It sort of goes into a spike at the back, whereas the females tend to be more rounded. Apparently that's not always the case. You can get males apparently that don't have the elongated. There's other various signs as well, like uh, the pectoral fins seem to be more sort of pointy or bigger on the males. There are numerous different signs, something to do with the black spot on them as well. Um, the sheen showing for a blue sheen means no blue sheen means it's a uh, who knows I mean these are male and female that's all I know females big pink belly as well which is awesome because that female's got a very pink belly so the scientific name is Microgeophagus Ramirez yeah I think I got that right <laughs> and they live in Colombia South America all around that region so a hundred percent we've got them in the right tank the Amazon tank now they're known as a dwarf cichlid because they only get to about two inches. Many of the South American uh, cichlids are huge, like they can get absolutely gigantic. So the rams only get to about two inches, which is like five centimeters. They can live from three to four years. I mean, I've struggled with that in the past. I think I had one before that lasted a year. Uh, that was, a, that was the uh, electric blue version though. So maybe it varies a little bit. Apparently there's been a lot of sort of uh, misuse of hormones with the electric blues versus the German blues you can see here so I don't know why they call it the German blues because it's not blue it's it's multicolored but there are blue bits on it so we'll, we'll let it go so it's recommended that you keep these fish in a minimum of 20 gallons this probably is because they can be aggressive and you, I mean you wouldn't want to keep one on its own would you so you're gonna put it with other fish 
and it's it, smaller than that is likely to be aggression issues if they pair up they tend to like want to defend an area because they're preparing for babies when babies do come as well apparently they just go absolutely nuts Hopefully we don't get that in this aquarium, but if we do, there's so many spaces and, and uh, places for them to stay in and defend, I think it'll be absolutely fine. But if it gets to that, that would be awesome, and we could maybe set up something else as like a breeding project. Wow, that'd be so good. So they like a pH of five to 7.5. Like I said, my tap water's seven, so that's absolutely great. I mean, they, a little bit on the softer side is okay as well. So I think perfect number would be like 6.5 pH for them. Because if you, if you think about it, the Amazon gets very acidic with all the uh, tannings and everything like that, and all the degrading organics in the water column. So what's perfect as well, this tank isn't too bright. Obviously these fish are from the Amazon, which is deep river and there's lots of cover tannins in the water so that it's not a really bright environment so I think the tank is really going to suit that because if you look behind me you can see there it's not overly bright is it so hopefully they're going to feel right at home so it is now the next day guys and the rams seem to have taken residence up in this top corner let me focus on them there you go so they keep they're hanging around up there together and then they keep coming out in this middle section as well and it's quite funny really because they're quite boisterous or a bolshy little fish sort of like this is oi this is our area get back get back <laughs> but not aggressively like so they're not chasing anything but they're they're clearly they're clearly interested in this area um center of the tank <laughs> which is absolutely awesome I, I love that they're like they want to be the focal point and they they really are the focal point to be honest i love the colombian tetra for how they behave as a group as a group they're really awesome but as individual fish the rams they're so so cool Okay, there we go. Look, this starting to come out into the open there, so we can get a better look at them. Those colours. That Colombian tetra was getting interested. <laughs> okay, look, what's going on here? This Colombian thinks he's a ram. <laughs> Guys, do you mind if I uh, join your group? No, no. Okay, yep. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, Venezuelan um, Corey there. Look at how nice that looks. They're black, but they've also got those little orangey bits on them, which looks so good. Look at the belly on that female. She is looking fine. <laughs> He's for, definitely for, they're definitely a pair. I think. I mean, they're they're constantly together, which is awesome. Hopefully, we can get something really really cool going on. Some breeding, maybe. I've, I mean, I don't have much luck in that area, so hopefully, I do. It'll be great to see, wouldn't it, guys? Guys, I can't see you behind there. Can you? Can you just? And there's that Colombian tetra again. I just want to be part of this group. <laughs> no. You are not a ram. So that is the end of the vlog, guys. If you've liked this one, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I will see you on the next one.